Hey guys, what's up? It's Apollo here, and welcome to Medieval Dynasty. Dynasty, excuse me, Dynasty. <laughs> All right, new quest. Uh, this is a new world, new beginning. So, um, for those of you who saw my last couple uh, Medieval Dynasty episodes, this is a new playthrough. This is not the same playthrough. Uh, so, I just want to kind of explain what we're doing here today and what this playthrough is going to be all about uh, so basically this is going to be a relaxing playthrough sit back you know maybe you had a long day at work or school or whatever and you can pop this on uh, in the background or you know uh, you could uh, play it when you're trying to go to sleep or something or you know it's just gonna be a super chill playthrough and uh, I'm just gonna be like farming and stuff if you guys saw the last Western Roman Empire episode I think it's episode 19 uh, I think it's called like Romans are stupid or something <laughs> Uh, the Spongebob meme. Anyways, uh, I explained how I've gotten into gardening a lot. And when I say gardening, I mean like farming, like growing crops that you can eat. Uh, and, and kind of uh, companion flowers. Flowers that you can't really eat, but they help your tomatoes or whatever. Anyways, I've gotten into gardening and I thought, you know what? This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's play this. And what I, the kind of expectation I want for you guys to have for this uh, game is to not expect this playthrough to show up all the time you know it's not I'm not gonna be posting this like three times a week maybe twice a week once a week and we're just gonna kind of take our time with this playthrough we're gonna you know get on play it every once in a while and see because they are constantly updating it so we're just gonna kind of see what they've been updating what it's all about and and just have some fun with it and just take it nice and slow. You might see a lot of episodes early on because we've got a lot to do. But as we start to catch up and, and do everything in this game and kind of wait for updates, it's going to slow down. And uh, yeah, it's just it's going to and it's going to be like a long playthrough. Uh, so I will have a playlist down linked in the video description. So because I'm not going to really number number the episodes. So the playlist will be in order. So if you want to just, you know, use that whenever, you know, you miss a couple episodes, you know how far to go back. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, let's jump in. I'm a little rusty. I don't remember how to play. So uh, what do we need to do here? We need to go start a new life. We need to talk to some fellow. I think I inherited some land. Ah, it is you. Hello. Let's talk. All right. So hey, stranger, what brings you to a valley? Okay, so I'm not... see. I came, uh, I came from the south looking for my uncle. Uh, his old home they called Lorden the Rapsman. Um, so he, I'm pretty sure he died, right? Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> told him he got, he got uh, excuse me, my mother told me that he got wealthy in the north. Uh, the uncle got himself killed, my friend. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Well, I'll take his goods. <laughs> my uncle's dead, his wealth is gone. I came all this way here for nothing. Don't say that. All right, I can craft simple tools. I can collect my necess necessities from the wilderness. I know how to count and to barter. Are you serious? I, my own land as much as I want? Sweet. I understand. Do you have any good advice for me to start with? Uh, you can cut down trees to build your house. Reeds grow by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. If necessary, you will find several vendors in our village. If they don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Maybe I could earn some coins somehow. Sure, you can talk to people here in the villages. Maybe do uh, some will pay you for your help. Thank you. Let me see. I have something special for you. Here, this is uh, this is the hammer your uncle used to build a house. Okay, thank you. Boom, boom, boom. We are good to go. All right, so tab is how we get to the tab menu. Construction wheel is Q. And then left alt is kind of like highlighting inspector mode. All right, so now we get to pick. This is the exciting part. Imagine if this was real life and you could just walk wherever you wanted and go, hey, I want this land. This is my land. <laughs> Maybe if you were a pioneer, but uh, those days are over. Uh, at least for Earth. Who knows, you know, space travel or something. We can find a new planet and go, hey, this is my land right here. So, um, 
left alt, right? Left alt. Oh, I see. Okay. And I can see this guy has a quest for me. Very interesting. So, um, it's usually good to build by the river. I, I So, the first time I played this, I built my house, like, you see where my dot is? Kind of like over there. I think I'm going to build a little bit closer near the, the town and see what we can do. I don't know. Like... <laughs> It seems like this would be the easiest thing to do is picking land, but it's it's often quite difficult for me because I just don't know um, where's a good spot. Um, now, we would definitely want to be close to the water. Uh, I assume we need some flat, r flat land uh, for crops or something. I mean, does anybody own this land here? This is pretty good right here. Now, I remember building close to the river and people were like, oh, you got to be careful with flooding. I don't know if there's flooding in this game. I really, I really don't. And this should be a good enough little, little bank here to protect. I mean, this just looks like it's a good, suitable farming location. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm going to build my house right here. I'm going to probably put it like right here-ish or maybe even up here. I mean, we are going to be close to this road, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm having second thoughts now. I'm like, where am I going to build this? All right, screw it, guys. Uh, I'm just going to, you know what I'm going to do? First off, I'm going to collect all these rocks here because I know we need stones for making, like, axes and stuff. I'm going to build in the same spot. There's just something about that spot over there that just looks so nice. So I'm going to build my house there. And uh, let's see what we need to do to get a... Okay, here we go. So we need we need 10 sticks and 2 stones to make a stone axe. And we can start chopping down some trees here. Um, so I remember stones being very difficult to find. But sticks, probably not. Um, but we're just going to grab a couple stones here. Looks like we got more stones. Wow. Yeah, the first time playing this... Oh, here we go. John's Wart. Sounds good. Sounds kind of gross, actually. So, we'll collect this. I don't know what it's used for, but we might as well. So, hey, this reminds me. Um, I... Here's some sticks. Here we go. Sorry, I uh, got a little sidetracked here. I was walking around. If you guys didn't know, I recently moved, and I wanted to move somewhere where there was a little bit more land, and there's a, there's a small amount of woods in on on or in my yard i guess you could say uh and you know I've, I've watched videos of people finding wild berries in like blueberries uh just naturally in the uh in the f in their forest or on their property so i uh got an app uh on the phone that it's really cool you take pictures of plants uh, and it'll tell you what it is uh, pretty close. Sometimes it's a it's a little wrong, but it's pretty impressive how you just take a picture and be like, oh, this is the, you know, whatever. Uh, so I was walking around and the first plant I saw, I didn't even notice it had berries on it, okay? I just saw it. I was like, this looks kind of cool. Let me take a picture of it. It came back as a thorny olive bush. Now, I don't think it's an actual olive. Uh, it's... They make berries but they're like olive shape but it's called a um silver berry because the um the the petals the leaves i should say uh are kind of have a silver shine to them and uh yeah they're they're edible they're completely edible i think they were native to asia and came over like 200 years ago and they're invasive so i have a ton of them i mean i have five giant bushes of these these uh, berries and um, I don't think they're oh hey new level heck yeah all right let me go ahead and and see what we can level up here uh, okay so let's be good at farming so farming knowledge a skill that determines how good you are in terms of taking care of farm animals and crafting at the barn workstation maybe I want to let's see I think you can have bees in here right Let's see, diplomacy, survival skill. That's always, always good. I think I'm gonna go with the survival knowledge. So how do we do that, F? Okay, there we go. Survival knowledge has gone up. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and 
chop down some trees. To do that, we can build an axe. So we're going to go ahead and build it. Anyways, uh, I got a little sidetracked there. So yeah, guys, if you go on my Discord, I actually have... There we go. I actually have uh, pictures of the berries. They're kind of interesting. And I did a ton of research because I wanted to make sure they weren't poisonous. Uh, but they're not and because I had like three of them and I'm, I'm still alive. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, uh, they tasted pretty good, but I don't think they were ripe. Uh, they tasted kind of like kiwis. Uh, and then it had, it had a large pit in it or like a seed. And you can eat the seed too, and it tasted kind of like um, a peanut. So it's kind of got like a, a nutty peanut flavor. There we go. Let's take these logs. All right, we're carrying too much. Where do we want to put this house? You know what, last time I put it like right there, I'm gonna put this one a little higher up. Nice, get a nice view of the land, you know? All right, I think this is uh, going to be a good spot. Let's go ahead and go back to our building here. There we go. Now, how do we let's see E to rotate? I want the front door to be looking at. Oh, here's the front door. Front door looking at the water. So we're going to put it right there. Beautiful home. Boom. Look at this. Look at this. This is going to be. Look at this view. Look at this freaking view. Oh, the mountains, the water. Beautiful, fantastic. So we need to complete it. So um, actually, I dropped two logs over here. We're actually getting kind of hungry. So I think I have some food on me, uh, but we do need to get some water, which I think we can just drink that water in the river, if I'm not mistaken. But let's see, here's the logs. There we go. Go ahead and pick this up. Two logs. Had to drop two of them because I was carrying too much. And we'll go back to chopping down some trees. Like, it would be cool if you could... I don't... Maybe you can. I, I really don't know. But if you could grow grapes in the uh, in the game, that would be awesome. Have, like, a, a vineyard. All right. So, let's go ahead and get our... We have a hammer, right? So if we go to our inventory, because he gave us a, a hammer. Yeah, a wooden hammer. Can we equip that or, yeah, F. So let's equip it to number two, because we probably won't use it as much as the ax. Oh, you need sticks to build this. There we go. I am getting kind of tired. <laughs> this would be uh, tough work. Okay, there we go. So we got plenty of sticks, but we need to get more logs. So I think we need one, two, three more logs to complete the walls. All right, so actually we do need logs to complete the walls. Okay, there's a couple spots I need to to fix real quick. Now I am getting hungry. So I need to get some water. I'm just gonna quickly run to the uh, the river here. And also I can eat, I got some dried meat. So I'll go ahead and eat that. And here's some mushrooms I found. A mushroom research, okay good. Can be eaten raw. All right. Well, I've almost completed all of it. Just got to do the roof. I need to, I need to find, uh, I need a couple more logs and then I need to get some straw, which again, straw, I assume is found near the river. Here we go. Found it. It's reed. I forgot the name of it, but reed turns into straw, which you can then use for your house. So we'll get, I don't know how much we need, but I guess I'll go ahead and just get a good amount of it. We'll get, uh, 
we'll get 28 of it. Okay. So we have 28 straw, and then we'll chop down a tree real quick, and we will complete this house. Alright, let's finish this house. There you go. It has been completed. No. <laughs> Question is, how do we... How do we get in? <laughs> oh wait, that's right, you just push it. Oh, and there's already beds in here. That's right, okay. Light the fire. Look at that, how relaxing is that? Look at, there's a bed for me and my wife, future wife, and then our little uh, spawn. Let's go ahead and, and go to sleep and start the next day. So, uh, now what we need to do is set a trap, build a wooden spear, stone knives, and hunt a wild animal. So that is how we're gonna do that. Now, didn't we level up? Uh, doesn't look like we did, so I think we should have enough to build this stuff. So hunt the wild animals, stone knives. Let's go ahead and build a stone knife. And let's go ahead and build a wooden spear. And then we can set a trap for a rabbit. Oh, here we go, trap. So it was in the furniture and decorations. It really confused me because I've kept going to like hunting buildings, but Let's go build a rabbit trap, and that was easy. And we will put it by this tree right here. Boom. So we've done that. So all we have to do now is hunt a wild animal. Now I am quite hungry, so I'm going to quickly eat some food, and then we can go hunting. All right, so we've eaten quite a lot. Let's go into the woods and, and go hunt. Uh, we do need to assign the wooden spear to, I guess we'll put that to, let's see, equip three. So we have wooden three, uh, wooden spear at three, wooden three. <laughs> so pretty sweet. Let's go hunt and look for a good tasty animal. Oh. <laughs> that was, uh, that was pretty quick. <laughs> well, at least we know rabbits live here. All right, let's harvest, harvest the rabbit. This is what I'm talking about. Sus, sus, oh my God, words are hard. Sustainable, <laughs> sustainable meats. There we go. Oh, what? What was that nonsense? Come on. So here's campfire. We do, all you need is some, some sticks. We'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and put this near the house. This will be our campfire. Let's go ahead and light a fire. Oops, light a fire. There we go, and we should be able to cook. Yeah, take three seconds to cook this. And there we go, we've got some meat, and if we eat it, roasted meat, plus six food. How do we start an orchard? I would like to grow an orchard and crops. And see, you can do an orchard, but not enough technology. So we might have to just start with a field first and grow something uh, that, you know, we can grow. Whether it be, uh, you know, I don't know. I assume you can buy seeds at the village. Maybe we should go do that. You guys want to go to the village and just ask around about some seeds and then maybe we can start uh, a little a farm. Because it is spring and it's a good time to start planting stuff uh, for summer. Well, I uh, went to the village. I'm talking to this guy, which I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name, but he has fertilizer. 
Uh, a resource for fertilizing fields to increase their value. Produce of rot and manure and barn. Produce of rot and manure. So eventually we could probably get our own fertilizer by having, um, you know, chickens or something, you know. Um, he does have an egg, but man, this stuff is expensive. So I don't know. See, I gotta go. See ya. I don't know what the plan is here. We might have to get do some jobs around the village to try to, uh, you know, have a farm. Well, I went to that guy's wife, and she's selling a bunch of juice, flatbread, food, and all kinds of yummy stuff that we can't afford. Oh my god, wheat beer is 440. You know what, guys? <laughs> I think what we're I think what we're gonna do <laughs> at our farm is make it a brewery because yeah, I'm pretty sure one of the newest updates is that you can have um, you can have bees right so you can have bees which in turn you can use their honey and turn it into mead uh, you can also we could probably grow some hops or something to or wheat to grow uh, wheat beer and just have a big brew just make it an epic brewery i mean that would be pretty cool i don't know how crazy you can get with the brewery stuff like could you take like can you grow elderberries and make elderberry wine or something like that i don't think you can but that would be really cool if you could like brew all kinds of different stuff like mead or maybe like spice up the mead by adding a fruit to it so like make a cherry mead or a peach mead or, or, or something like that uh, I think that would be pretty sweet. But I think what we're going to do now, uh, because we're probably too broke to buy anything, we have five coins total. So I think uh, we're just going to complete the quest at hand, which is a survivalist, survive for a season, and take it from there. So I'm just going to keep hunting rabbits, maybe even get some deer, and uh, cook up some meat and uh, survive. Oh, we got another rabbit here. Yeah, bingo. So I found some mushrooms. I found some rabbits. Nothing too crazy. Just kind of exploring. This area looks pretty cool. It's almost like swampy here. Um, I was just curious to see if there's anything unique around this biome, but it's more of a pond than a swamp, I would say. So, you know, all you Shrek fans can, can calm down. There we go. There's another one. Oh, they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> we should probably check our trap, too. Here, let's take the spear. There we go. Come on, skin the rabbit. <laughs> Those other two rabbits we saw, I would hate to think that was, like, his family. <laughs> and they just saw him brutally get killed. And, uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> We just like killed the dad in front of the whole family and now we're hunting down the family. It's pretty horrible. So I guess I can go ahead and eat it, right? I mean, we uh, we pretty much, I mean, I got my mushrooms here, roasted meat. Yeah, we'll go ahead and eat it. Again, I don't know how long it lasts until it's no good anymore. Like I assume meat goes bad. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy, straight ahead. We got a big old, big old deer. Oh, there's another one. No, that's a fox. That's not a deer. Oh, look at this boy. Okay. We're going for you. Oh! Okay, we gotta chase him. We gotta chase. Oh, dude. Oh, that was such a good hit. Oh, come on. Die. Oh, are we out of torches? Oh, no. Alright, but he's just chill over there. He's like, whatever. Alright, let's just not lose him. All right, we still see them. All right, so we need to quickly build, not buildings. We need to build, uh, I think the third, uh, just need one more. I think that will be it. And get a little closer and. 
Kaboom. Oh, are you serious? He's still alive. Oh my god, this lad. Alright. Let's do it again. There we go. Oh my god. Give me back my spear. <sighs> he just like soaked up all of my spears. Here, wooden spear. Just trying to grab them all before. This is a big old look at this. Successful hunting. Let's go ahead and skin them. And uh, this should give us meat for days. So yeah, uh, is there any way to mark this? Uh, we can set waypoint. Is there any kind of like survival buildings? So no, that's filters. Let's just know that it's up this way. So if you go up this road, around here is. Uh, I, I don't know if that's true for all cases. Like there, the deer are always going to be there, uh, but. Uh, it seems like a good spot for deer as I saw a good amount of them, but I just had to go for Go for the stag go for the or the you know the male the buck Well, we're back at the House and we're gonna go ahead and cook the meat that we got So we have six meat All right got some water and let's go ahead and eat our meat so our delicious well-earned buck that we killed. And we'll get us up to... We'll get it up to the 80s. Okay, we got one meat left. Wow, we actually eat, ate most of it. Alright guys, it's another day. Uh, it's the very last day of spring. Uh, really, there's not much we can do. We didn't level up at all. We don't have any skills to add. So, uh... Sweet, yeah, we're just gonna keep it up here, guys. Go hunting and, uh, you know, see how much we can get. Maybe we can level up as we hunt. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna go back to this area and try to uh, kill some more deer. And sure enough, we have found... No, that's a fox. <laughs> I keep finding... I keep thinking they're deer. I, I mean... What do we get out of killing a fox? I'm curious. I think I'm gonna go for it. Sorry, Fox. I feel awful. But we can skin it. I assume we can eat it. I don't know how good fox meat is. See, fur and meat. Oh, and then look at this. There's a deer. Oh, what's this? Broadleaf plantain? plantain? I will gladly take that. And uh, it's time to kill us a deer. We're gonna post up by this tree. Right in the neck. Pow, right in the kisser. Ugh. Ugh. We just never have enough spears. Alright, well. Hopefully chopping down this tree. The deer are not very skittish. Even when you put a giant spear in their neck, they're like, yo, what's up? Oh, hey! Leveled up. Okay. Right, let's go back to crafting. I think it's just one more. The buck required four. But maybe just because it was a buck. Dang it, it does require four. Okay, we'll go ahead and make another spear. Are you serious? What in the world? <gasps> An are you serious? Is this glitched out or something? Alright, I'm... This is bull. Okay, good, whatever. I'm going to... Maybe they're counting as misses. What? <laughs> Did you just run back towards me? Or is this a different deer? I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. Good God. Give me back my spear, you doe. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Oh, speaking of a buck, here we go. Oh, he's running away, actually. This is a great hunting location. No. Come on. Like I'm bullfighting right now. This is insane. Oh, you stopped. Here. Here. Okay, this works. What? God. Sounded like there was a deer behind me. We also leveled up, so we should look at that. So extraction talent one. So I see, I guess we have to get better at, um, like we have to actually do farming to get farming skills, if I'm not mistaken. So extraction knowledge, 5% more skill when extracting activities. So master of destruction allows you to recover half of your resources when destroying a building. That's pretty good. We're going to go with extraction knowledge and uh, spend that knowledge. There we go. All right, we cooked it all up. We're going to go ahead and get some water. And it's, you know, the start of this is going to be pretty simple. We're just out here surviving. We're not thriving yet. Thriving will be soon. Uh, I plan what I do. Wh let me say that again. My plan is going to be uh, having a farm that we could live off of. And uh, maybe just selecting, I, I assume, crop different crops grow at different times. Winter, you probably can't grow anything. You, and you have to hunt, which is fine. Winter's probably going to be the most harsh. Um, but yeah, I'm going to um, grow crops for fall, summer, and spring. So we always have something to eat. And then I will set up like a, um, having like bees to do mead. I, I don't even know if you can make mead. I'm just assuming you can make mead with the bees. Uh, and then maybe like wheat for beer. And just kind of making a cool brewery. That Brewery, that would be pretty sweet. Let's go through the chest here. I guess I'll go ahead and, and load up the chest with... We also found a decent amount of mushrooms out there, so... Transfer all this. Okay, so I transferred a lot of my stuff. I kept some sticks because it's good for crafting, but I, I mostly transferred my money uh, and my like random stuff, like leather and, and food and stuff. I kept some food just to have on hand whenever I get hungry, but I'm just trying to lighten the load here so I can, um, you know, carry stuff and, and do whatever I need. If I find anything cool, I can carry it. In the meantime, I'm going to be making a lot of spears uh, because, again, that area is good for hunting stags and deer and stuff. So I need to chop them down and, and get some logs and make more spears because uh, you lose them quick and they also break down pretty quick. All right, I made 10 spears. Oh, and we leveled up in crafting. Excellent. Let's uh, let's go and see what we can level up here uh, for crafting. Uh, so cooking knowledge. I'm really interested in getting our cooking knowledge up. Um, but is that the smartest thing to do? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think I, I might for now 
go with uh, crafting knowledge instead of cooking knowledge. I've heard, I, well, I've heard, the reason I say that too is I've heard that if you make like knives early game, you can make a lot of money that way. Uh, I don't know how true that is, but uh, that might be the case. So now we can finally go to sleep and we're gonna finish this last quest. And that is also going to conclude our, uh, our episode for today. So I'll pause it here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. This has been a lot of fun. And the, in the next episode, we will continue to, uh, you know, expand a pond and learn new things and try to get to a point where we're making money because, yeah, money is definitely a problem here. Just looking at the prices for certain things. So hopefully we can build a beautiful farm very soon. I'm super excited about it. And also, guys, let's not forget... We have to meet a nice young lady. So, uh, yeah, we got to build our dynasty. And it all starts here with this humble little medieval shack. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield or the farm, whatever.